Hi, I'm Philip Pixie, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own 3D Morty from Rick and Morty in Pearl Beats. <laughs> So to make this creation, you're obviously going to need some supplies, namely pillar beads or hummer beads, or arctal beads, or piscilla beads, just, yeah, beads. And in the colours, blue for the pants, white for his shoes, yellow for his t-shirt, skin or a flesh colour for his skin, and brown for his hair. So I opted more for a darker blue, I wasn't quite happy with the light blue that I initially took out so I went into my other storage to get a darker blue. And for this creation you're also going to need some mini beads. And yes, I do keep my mini beads in that tub where there were sour worms. Just these tops come in handy and I don't want to throw anything out and I just reuse everything that I can. You only need two colours and they are going to be white and black mini beads for Morty's eyes and eyebrows. The way that I've actually designed this creation, the mini beads will fit perfectly on Morty's face. But if you do not have any mini beads, it's perfectly fine to use normal pearler beads. But you might need to modify your creation to be wider or longer so that the eyes will fit on his face. And finally, you need two types of pegboards. One to place your pearler beads on and the other to place your mini beads on. You really don't need two large square pegboards. If you can, try and fit it on one. And you'll need some tweezers to place the beads on, particularly with the mini beads. They are quite a pain in the butt if you don't have tweezers or some sort of... Are they tweezers? Yeah, they're all tweezers. If you were to place mini beads on one by one, it would take you too long and it is quite frustrating. So I really do recommend some type of tweezers for it. And like with any other 3D pillar bead project, you'll need some sort of adhesive to glue each of the pieces together. My favourite is E6000, but hot glue, craft glue, whatever, whatever you can find, super glue even, just find something that will glue these pieces together. You'll also need an iron and ironing paper. Where is my ironing paper gone? And some ironing paper, right here. So I went ahead and created all the pieces. These are all the pieces that you will need. Do not worry, I'm gonna run through them one by one. There are exactly five pieces that you'll need for Morty's head. Also, please pay attention to the colors on the sides of the head here because they are all different. So in the first one, you can see we've got four brown pieces and one skin. In the second one we've got three brown pieces on each side and two flesh colours underneath. And in this last piece we have two brown pieces and three flesh pieces on the bottom with the ears added in there. And in the final set you'll need to make Morty's pants. So with the first one you can see that we've still got Morty's arms or hands on the end there. Second one we've got the rest of his pants. You can also make your Morty's pants longer or shorter if you want so I went with these three two by two layers on top of each other but you can add on as many as you feel desired for your creation. And you can't forget Morty's shoes. Now grab your mini beads from earlier, they should be the black and white ones, and you're going to create Morty's eyebrows and his eyes. I've kind of made mine like derpy looking, so they're kind of, they're not looking straight ahead, they're 
sort of on the sides of each other because Morty has that clueless look in his eyes whenever he hangs out with Rick. So now that you have all ironed your pieces, you are ready to glue and assemble them all together. I may or may not have recorded the assembling part, but I did get part of the gluing process. Now I have made this process a little bit easier for you guys because if you refer back to the template earlier, a bit earlier in this video, all the pieces are already in order of gluing. So all you have to do is follow that process and you shouldn't have any problems. When you place your legs onto the middle part, I actually try to make a part in the middle so that you can differentiate between the left and right leg and yeah, just put a little gap in the middle there, you should be fine. Here is a tip for Morty's legs and pants. I found it easier to place him upside down and glue the legs that way. And the shoes are fairly easy, just dab on the glue at the end of the legs and then just place the white part on. And now that you have assembled it all together, all you have to do is glue Morty's eyes and eyebrows together. That should be very easy. And so this is what my Morty looks like. So you got his eyebrows there like that, his dirty looking eyes, fairly short, he really doesn't have a neck at all. But this is definitely one of the easier creations that I've made here on my channel and I hope you have, you know, found it easy to follow as well. And that guys is how you make a 3D pillow bead Morty. So if you have enjoyed this video or if you like pillow bead tutorials, I've got another video here that you might be interested in. It's whatever random video it is there. I don't know if you'll like it, there's only one way to find out and if you don't want to watch it, that's cool too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Wait, I'm gonna grab my body. Bye! Wubba lubba dub dub.